I'm gonna take a video of me trying to set this up because I think it's really funny. We got this table, but it's way too low because it's a coffee table. What's my solution, you ask? Does it fit? Okay, <laughs> we'll try that. This is not correct. This is better. Hi. I look insane. I just realized that like on camera, my hair looks worse. <sighs> this is a little embarrassing. We're just gonna go with this. Don't actually like that. My hair's uneven and I don't care. Hello. <laughs> you are either here because you know me personally and you know where I'm sitting right now, or you know me from the double bass point of view video because I didn't know a sleigh ride from the string bass perspective existed. And I'm a little upset because I was so excited. <laughs> I'm the first one! No, I'm not. I'm not quite sure what the title of this video is going to be yet. I've been throwing a few around. I'm definitely going to do one focused on my audition experience because... Oh my god. <laughs> this is the situation. <laughs> Update rep band auditions. I'm scared out of my mind. I'm making a podcast episode with a few friends of mine, possibly on like... <clears throat> on audition experiences, um, particularly for band and orchestra separately, and then me. This video is just going to be on the band bass experience, which I would have done much sooner because I've been playing in band for the past six years. <laughs> so this isn't like news. I do want to record my uh, all district band experience because it is a different breed. I don't know who my clinician is, but I love them. So serious. Like, I am in love with my clinician. Every single one of my parts is a string bass part, except for the John Mackey piece we are playing. But I was given options between tuba and bass trombone. Again, I'm in love with my clinician. This has never happened. One string bass part is like gold, right? Like five? <laughs> I love you. You know this? Can we start like a campaign for the band bassist out there? I can't keep trying to transpose tuba music in my mind. Like I know I'm just like big brain. I also realize I like live in a public space. People can hear me right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this really chaotic, really unscripted intro. And now I get to show you live footage of me cushioning a bass in a van with my leg. However, the members that were from our school got to see the <laughs> symphony the day before the clinic, so that was pretty cool. And then the clinic starts. It's a big womp womp moment. What if I did this? Okay, chill. Hey! It's the morning of. It's the morning of the first day. One of two. <laughs> I'm doing this in the bathroom, even though the acoustics there's a flutter echo. It doesn't matter because the lighting in here is the best. I printed out a tube apart for my music yesterday. I also for left my wallet in my dorm. So it's kind of like a little adventure trying to go get that. <laughs> uh, I've been tasked by a friend of mine to find the other bassist, the 910 bassist for my district and to go say hi. So I think I'll do that. Minor disclaimer, there was no 910 basis. I was lied to, I'm sorry. I haven't told the two people I'm staying with that I'm vlogging, by the way, which I will eventually. So I'll let you know how it goes. Um, also, I'll show you where my base is. Also, this is what, what I mean by like, this makes me look better than I actually am. This is where my base is. Woo woo. I'm running a little behind, so I like would have taken the stairs, but also, They have a pit, like a orchestral pit, like underneath their stage. I'm currently working on getting a stand. I, I feel so scared, like vlogging with people around. Right. Hey, oh. they said that it's okay to stay here for now and you're good to set up where you are there for now. Okay. And the site host needs you to move, they'll let you know. Okay. But you're good for now. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Got a place to set the base. Look at how cute. Oh gosh, I got away. Okay. Isn't that neat? That's so cool, actually. I don't know if UV will do anything to this, but like, it's so, it's purple. I'm trying to play sitting down now. I'm gonna stool. It's 
right time. Um, I got asked like what my favorite pieces were, so that brings me hope that we get to do one like beautiful because I think we're gonna cut a piece for the candid suite. Don't get me wrong, the lunch I had was absolutely divine, but we were chronically late when we got back to rehearsal and I was scrambling. that has really weird offbeats and I discovered that you can just play them like triplets over okay so it's yeah it's a triplet over two measures is how I'm doing it so I'm just gonna like practice that internally because it's literally trying howdy I love he just got bullied vlogging like okay I screwed it up that last time, but it makes more sense. It makes more sense in my mind. I'm going to explain what I mean with my pencil. Triplets over two measures with that really horribly written three. <laughs> the writing. Honestly, I give up trying. I'm of the best sleep of my life. It's, it is the morning of day two. I haven't moved for like two hours. I had breakfast at like seven. I was exhausted, so I just edited. I edited this video for a little bit because I know I'm not going to be able to do that when school starts. <laughs> this is your not so friendly neighborhood reminder to please stretch and take good care of yourself because being a musician is very hard on your body. I do these stretches for 30 seconds each. I rest my elbow on the table and let the weight of my other hand kind of pull back my hand without forcing it to. And it's a nice alleviation to all the um, pressure and strain. I do the same for my thumb and then afterwards I apply lotion because cracked hands are no fun. I'm bummed out because my hand hurts, I have to splint it to split it for like a three hour rehearsal. Like, like, uh, on, on the mountains? Yeah. 
If some of you were anticipating footage of me playing at the concert, I'm sorry, I don't have that yet, and I don't plan on waiting for it for too much longer, so here's the end of this. And a photo of me, if you care. <laughs> I did not anticipate it to be raining, so basically I had to run in the rain that I got there, and uh, she was like, let me get closer to the curb, I'm like, no! I took my coat off and put it on the base. <laughs> you made it to the end. Congratulations. I have videos of my closing thoughts, except my phone only saved half of them. I also look like I'm crying. I'm just exhausted. There's nothing really wrong. I promise. I just, I look distraught and I can't get over it. I sound like I've been sobbing for three hours. Somebody help her. The staff were all so accommodating. Like, this is the most attention. I've gotten at a band clinic, and that's, it, it was by tenfold, like that says so many things. Um, this helps because the host band director was also an orchestra director at the same time. Um, and he didn't quite understand my instrument, but I was given like a stand and safe places to put it. I was given features in some of the songs, so that was really cool. Um, I also got like separate attention that wasn't combined with winds or brass. So like, I, I just, I felt treated like my instrument and it was really cool. And I love all the staff there and everyone was very cautious and very sweet. Um, as like, definitely like I was treated like a bassist and I just, I, yes, best clinic for that alone. Have a good one. You guys should subscribe to me because I will post more like this. Um, probably more frequently now that more music stuff is gonna hit me in the face. I've got state auditions in uh, five weeks. And I don't like to think about it.